There you go. This is basically the Connect One, the depth. It has a limited range. The, the resolution on this is like 320 by 240. So the, the depth information isn't very good. What you have is there's a near mode and far mode option. And the, the far mode is for medium sized objects, like a rooms, chairs, cars, things like that. But what you can can is you have it kind of limited. The only problem is there's a really bad shadow from a single point of view. Uh, so you can see my hand here. And as it's projecting, as it's coming out toward me, it comes out in a, a you know into a V. And as a result, when I place my hand here, it casts even though it's very small there, it casts a really large shadow. So there is options to actually have multiple connects so you get multiple coverages. This is kind of an idea of what you're expecting the depth stream. So basically I'll start, this is called Connect Fusion, and I'm in near mode, and I'm just painting this, the, the scene. Now one thing about the Connect and Fusion and the software in general, it works best by actually moving back and forth, and what you do is moving it like a paintbrush, and you basically you just move it back and forth, and you paint it like a paintbrush, and you end up with a really pretty nice scene right away. And this is the software that comes with the SDK itself. Let's go to SkinX software. You basically select your scene, and this is a volume, which is basically a bounding box of the volume of how large you want to size. So I can say I want to scan a room five by five meters, the aspect ratio is normal. Or you can actually increase the bounding box if you want. So you can actually scan, I think it's up to 12 by 12 meters. So we'll, we'll let it stick it at room at five by five. And I'm just going to hit start. And you can actually get a preview. So what you see is the actual depth data. I can actually zoom and rotate around and see this in three dimensions. Best software for the Connect right here is probably the ScanAct or the Artec Studio. So I can actually rotate to look around, you know, look at the other side of the room where you see the black. Uh, that's where it's not capturing any data. Kind of lose of it right here. Uh, it doesn't like sunlight, so you can see that window, it, it really loses the sunlight. One last thing I want to show with this is Colorize. This is another pass. And uh, you know, this is a low light area. You know, you can actually open up in the SDK. You can expose the color information and in some of the settings, so it'll maintain the same exposure. You're going to see like different levels of exposure from place to place, and generally the, the color is really bad, especially in Scan Mech. Reconstruct Me is marginally better. If you if you want to take the next step up, the Reconstruct Me is the next step up in the Scan Mech, but the problem is a couple of hundred dollars, you might as well go ahead and buy the Artex Studio. The principles are basically the same. It looks at a volume. I can change the volume, make it larger. And it's better, a little bit better with tracking, but not so much. You know, I can change the handing, uh, love to play sounds, the surface, turn off the selfie, colorize your reconstruction. For the device, you can maximize the quality or for optimization. So it has a little bit more of the settings uh, that you can actually expose to rather than scan it. But at the same time, you, like I said, you might as well, you, you, you're kind of stuck with its features. And if you really want to delve into it, you have to actually write a batch like text files to configure the reconstruct me.